Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. So I think things are working. No, no, it's not. What's going on with this? What the hell? Okay. There we go. Okay, now it's working. <laughs> oh, it's just... YouTube's just blown itself up lately, isn't it? Okay. Is it going to come on? Give it a second. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Uh, which one was the... Uh... I think it was that one. Was it that one? I think it was my... I think it might have been that one. 40, perhaps. Oh. Yeah, there we go. For some reason, YouTube... Okay. I think it's finally working now. It does not seem to like the loading screen, but that's okay. Uh, so we finished off last time. I'm doing this a bit out of the blue, I, I realise. It's just a bit of a dark day here today, so it's a little bit bored. So for you know, I might as well continue the dark style thing that we're doing right now. I think what we're going to do then is we did discuss uh, what to do with the Garden Vichy France. I think it is worthwhile attacking them to actually fully annex France. I think that is worthwhile. Okay. Right, we weren't dealing with the partisans over there. Okay. How you doing that, LCP? Yeah, <laughs> good to have you, my man. Uh, not too bad. I made a really nice katsu, uh, katsu curry uh, earlier on, actually, so it was really nice. But I mean, I'm in that kind of like uh, stage, you know, you like uh, you've had a load of carbs and you just like you just like fall asleep. Uh, I'll end up waking up later on. That's the annoying thing. <laughs> I thought I'd carry on with a little bit more dark style. I think what we're gonna do then. We did actually see that we could potentially ally with the Spanish, uh, the nationalists. But I think it would be worthwhile to actually go ahead and grab Gibraltar, to be honest. Uh, a part of me does think, is it worthwhile actually declaring on Vichy immediately? And I think I will do. The reason for that is, well, we gain all of his territory immediately. And there's quite a bit here. There's not huge, huge amounts, but there's still there's still some good stuff here, really. Hey, doing there, Con? Good to have you, my friend. How are you guys doing then today? Yeah, so we do gain... I mean, there's manpower here. There's an airfield, which... Uh, oh, no, there's just a little bit of uh, AA there. Nothing particularly amazing. Manpower, a little bit of energy there. Let's see. Hey, Dinesh on good to have you, my friend. Uh, some manpower here, then. We do actually have a decent amount of metals over here, which is good. Uh, some rare production as well, it's not too bad. Uh, Toulouse has some metals, energy, rares. Marseille. I mean, Marseille has a level 10 airfield, level 4 naval base, which is nice. It actually has uh, some industry here as well, which is nice. Hey, doing that, Chase? Good to have you, my friend. I like that name, Chase Money Blackwash Dolan. <laughs> That's a long name. Yeah, we do have more metals over here as well. See, let's have a look at this then. So as far as we go with metals, it's not showing me right now, because we haven't uh, kickstarted things. Uh, I think what I'm going to do here then is actually go ahead and I think temporarily stop production. Uh, we could, potentially. Hey, dude, man, new counter. Good to have you, my friend. Hello there, esoteric, esoteric nostalgias. I looked really fancy. I just joined your live streams. Do you mind elaborating shortly how you managed to attack and defeat the Benelux countries uh, together with France before June 1940? Uh, we attacked early, that's why. <laughs> we attacked early. We went in there. Uh, we we put, uh, puppeted Sweden far too early to be there. I should have waited until we actually had uh, Denmark before doing this. So, yes. And now, uh, regarding the question of the alliance with Vichy, yeah, probably. But uh, I think we'll probably get more benefit from actually just annexing the French. Uh, what I'm going to do then is actually put the production into, yeah, consumer goods here. I think upgrades as well to an extent. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I imagine... I think that the actual free French do get a hold of the, uh... So this is all Vichy right now, but I think it will soon become free French. Whereabouts are the free French? You are saver. Right, so, what happens is all of this territory over here goes to free France. Hmm. 
Oh, that's pretty cool. Ah, that sounds really awesome there. That sounds really cool. <laughs> Take Italy. Well, I mean, this is it. It's like, regarding the Italians, I'm not going to invite them into the Axis immediately. It's one of those things that could be considered as a potentially invade Italy if it was easier to take, but there's a few things over here. It could be taken, but it's one of those of we just critically weaken an ally. Plus, I have to go to Africa, and I don't particularly want, uh, don't particularly want to go after, uh, after Africa over there. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take control of Italy, but I'm going to allow Italy to just continue to develop as it is. But I think what we'll do then is we'll actually get our forces onto the border here. And then we can go ahead and intervene in the Spanish Civil War then, essentially. Right. Uh, armor, mechanized, will make quick work of it down there, really. I am going to have to, obviously, garrison the area and obviously look after the... Uh, look after them as well, which is uh, its not particularly fantastic, but we'll manage. Okay. There we go. Hmm. Right. Okay. What I'm going to do then is actually put these guys into port over here. Uh, I'm going to have to rebase the actual submarines over here on the French port. But I think we'll probably get more of a benefit from this. The Vichy regime is going to fall at some point in the future, so it's not too surprising. Okay. Uh, Free France has the overseas, indeed. I used to take Vichy as I don't trust a Vichy. <laughs> well, that's it, isn't it, really? Yeah. And could you show us your total army, navy, and air units? I want to see how much you were able... Well, to be honest, we've only just started building up the forces, to be honest. Uh, we do have a great deal of industry. Uh, I've gained more descent than I really should have had. Uh, I gained 10% by actually releasing Sweden as a puppet. In retrospect, I would have just kept Sweden as a... Uh, directly uh, occupied. But I suppose they're building up now. They've got a couple divisions over here, so they're able to look after themselves to some extent. Six infantry divisions. I don't know whether we actually get more of the resources. I imagine if we get sole access to this resource. I don't think the Allies will get access to it, but I don't think they had access to it to be uh, uh, to begin with, really, due to uh, us controlling the actual straits over here now. Hmm. Right, so I'm going to take a look at the actual statistics over here, then. Let's see... Land divisions, no, not this one. So we're up to 120 divisions here at the moment. Um, which is not many. Uh, so 94 infantry, 1 cavalry, 2 motorized, 5 mechanized, 2 armored, 11, sorry, 2 elite armored, 11 armored, uh, 3 mountainous, 1 garrison, and headquarters here at this moment in time. Yeah, I give no idea, Sweden. <laughs> I didn't agree him. Well, it's not a bad idea, because I suppose it would actually allow them to garrison it for us, but then again, I don't think they'd properly garrison it. Uh, I'm going to have to garrison it anyway at this point. Uh, we do have the fleet being built up. We do have a decent amount of submarines. We will have the actual carriers on the way shortly. But I think we'll put... Um, I think we'll go for the upgrades here, perhaps. Though, no. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I'll control this somewhat manually then. So we'll go like that. I'm going to put half of it into here then. So let's see then. Uh, just lock that for the time being. A little bit extra there is fine, I guess. Right, lock that as that. Well, in fact, what I could do here then is then turn it, uh, lock them where they are. And then I'll be fine. So yes, we'll go in that then. So that's locked. That needs to be locked there. I'm going to put the upgrades there. Uh, so we'll see. How you doing, Andres? Good to have you, my friend. Are you planning to fight a two-front war, or are you going to... I don't think we've got the ability to take out the British at this moment in time. I mean, maybe I could try it, but the issue is if we declare... Our, well, if we actually invade Britain, uh, it puts us into immediate war with the Americans, and obviously the Soviet Union as well, which is less than stellar. Hmm... Yes, we are producing more. We are producing more. We did build up the actual amount of industry. I do have things being produced here. Uh, we try to produce things as late as possible, really, and as, as in large numbers as possible, really. 
Yeah, close air support. Well, to be honest, this is the thing. I don't know if I'm even going to bother with North Africa. I don't know. What I'm going to do is actually have the armoured forces mass down here. We're going to declare on the Vichy regime. Uh, so we'll occupy all of France, which is good. It'd be really great if we could actually uh, release a France. Uh, but I doubt that'll happen. But uh, we'll see. Uh, what I'm going to do then is... I'm going to maintain some actual infantry divisions in France itself. And until we get the actual garrison units, that is. Okay. Yeah, it's not a bad idea, really. Not a bad idea. There's lots of different ways to do things, which is always a good thing. So we'll unpause the game. Right, let things get a going. Okay. So we're down with the rebels there. Right. Engaging over here with the actual submarines. I do have more submarines to actually move. What I'm going to do then is actually have them uh, move out to these ports. So that's a level 10 there, which is excellent. But I'm going to have them sneak move there. So sneak move to Brest. And I think the other submarines aren't in... Yeah, there we go. Okay. Over here then. I'm going to have to build up some of these ports as well, actually. That'd be quite nice. Bordeaux's not too bad. Uh, Brest will have to do for the time being. Uh, not like that. Can I have them sneak move? No. Okay, we'll just move back into port for the time being then. They're moving out. Uh, well, you could directly annex them, but it's a 10% uh, event decision there, really, so it's not particularly worth it, unfortunately. Right. They can go down there, in fact. They're moving there. Yeah, right. I would prefer more mountainous divisions, in fact. So let's take a look. So if we can actually see here, we are producing 109 energy. We're producing 2.6 metal, 98.7, uh, but obviously that's coming in from the... Uh, and that's coming in, obviously, from the trade in there with the Soviets. We do have a great deal of actual oil stop out, which is excellent news. So... What it might be worthwhile doing then is potentially giving... I mean, the Japanese are doing quite well. Obviously, they still have to deal with the communist Chinese over here. Which is less than uh, easy due to the actual mountain strain. If I go to the actual train map mode, it's all bloody mountains. It's a nightmare. They will eventually win, but it's very hard fought. It's almost it's it's a terrible night, uh, terrible nuisance there. Uh, how are they doing? Plenty of oil. They'll be fine. Yeah, so it's a shame because obviously the French, the Vichy regime will lose all of this. All of this will go to the Free French. But it's one of those of. Uh, well, it doesn't particularly make a difference. They're going to fall at some point in the future. At least I'll actually get more of a benefit from this. I could even release them as a puppet regime, and they would actually have cause on this and be my direct puppet. But I think we want to actually control it directly. So what we're going to do here, then, is actually declare war upon the Vichy regime. Uh, so we declare war here. Time will pass, then. Give it a second. Right, there we go. So, resource change. Uh, the Vichy, uh, Vichy regime collapses here then. So, by Joan de Calais, Warren Vichy, the puppet government has collapsed and their colors have rallied to the free French cause. So, we annex it here? Yeah, uh, I mean, this is it. We need to take a look at these actual convoys over here, to be honest. So, I'm going to cancel this. Uh, I'm going to cancel this with Japan. Kwantung Army. Persia. Argentina, Portugal, Venezuela. Hmm. Can't cancel that, unfortunately. Right, so we're actually given the Swedish energy, which is interesting. Okay. Yeah, no, you're right there. I mean, I did make a mistake by puppeting, uh, puppeting Sweden. So that was a mistake, obviously. Let's bring another couple divisions down here. Another couple calls down to France at the time being. Okay. Uh, so we'll intervene in the Spanish uh, Civil War shortly. Oh, okay. That's brilliant. So we actually did sink uh, HMS Sussex then. So we actually did sink a uh, British heavy cruiser. Let's see. So, fate of the Lufthansa. Lufthansa. Right. That does give me that. It's worthwhile doing because I don't have one right now. 
does give me additional descent, which is less than stellar, but it's worthwhile doing. Okay. What I'm going to do here then, which is going to give me even more descent, unfortunately, but I'm going to go here then. Uh, let's see. Uh, foreign IC use is not bad, actually. Yeah, I just need to get that uh, descent down there. Consumer goods needs. That one's actually tempting because it does give us more resource production, gives us more for an IC without any negatives here for consumer goods. Um, we do get more out of the actual foreign IC, so we do actually get more out of the French industry. But of course, then we're having to pay more to consumer goods. And uh, what do you guys reckon then? Should we go for the 5% foreign IC use and the 10% resource production, but with no negatives? And it's only 5%, but I suppose it means that we do get more out of it. Hmm. Okay. Go on some goods for a bit. Yeah, well, this is why I'm halting production temporarily. Uh, what is our current? So it's thirty-two. Yeah, I think we'll go for more for an IC. So I can I can do more with that then. Uh, so we'll go for more for an IC then. We'll have uh, Reinhard. Obviously, he's a nasty gentleman uh, who can get a job done. Supply consumption is interesting. Armored. Uh, I probably should have gone for Rauch to begin with, perhaps. But then again, no, not so much. Ah, oh, that's good there. That's good there to hear, Andre. Right. Uh, we do have more manpower growth from Hitler. We'll probably play again in the future and probably, like, just try and hone in on things. Just try and make things as, as great as we can, really. Yeah, so far, and yeah, well, that's it. I think that's probably the right choice, isn't it, really? Okay. Yeah, he is. <laughs> That's why I said he was like a nasty gentleman. He is, uh, he's pretty mad. <laughs> he's indeed pretty mad. Okay. So we'll see here. Right, destroying the partisans over here. Right, we do have a division headed down. There. Low infantry bill, cost and time. Yeah, probably better idea, isn't it, really? Seeing as though we're actually producing more infantry divisions. Seems like, oh, what's happening with the supplies? Alright, I see. I'll put it like this and have them focus on consumer goods then. It'll figure it out. I think, I'm not entirely sure why we're in the red so much, actually. I do wonder if it's maybe because we have forces over here in uh, Norway. Possibly. Maybe we do give it to the actual Swedish, perhaps. Not too sure why it's so bad. Okay. No, I mean, it, it's completely fine. It's one of these things of where... Oh, that's interesting then. So, HMS Trojan Star. I didn't think they could actually get in here. Uh, but we sink there a destroyer. But well, that's interesting. I didn't think they'd actually be in here. Intriguing. Yeah, I don't know why the TC is so bad, actually. Hmm. Partisans. Probably due to descent being high as well, which is nasty. Okay. Take that there, uh, put it into the consumer goods. Uh, we do lose another... Oh, that's a shame. Okay. Oh, hello. Italy now guarantees the independence of Bulgaria. The United Kingdom had German attack in the Middle East. <laughs> yeah, something like that. I suppose this is it. If we actually, uh, it'd be rather interesting to maybe, like, 
change things, really. Like, if we were to replay this, like, to start another game, I think what we could potentially do then is actually uh, play with the intention of being of the Middle East, because it's actually rather interesting. Uh, yeah, we can see all these three French over here, which is rather intriguing. So that was going to move into Syria. Right. Why am I at war with Turkey? <laughs> Why is Turkey a puppet of the United Kingdom? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Okay. And Iraq. Uh, that's wild. Huh. That's pretty wild. Huh. <laughs> that's actually pretty interesting, in fact. I don't know if that's actually... Uh, that's not too bad, actually, because it means we could just go straight through Turkey, but this is definitely going to be a different thing. Uh, I do need to get the Hungarians in here. Uh, yeah, it is, actually. That's pretty interesting. Seems like they had accounted for something like that. What a twist. Yeah, well, this is it. I do want to actually go for Gibraltar, but with my... I don't know. Is it worthwhile? Hmm... I just need to get a bloody Hungarians in here. How about the Romanians? No, but I should start influencing the Romanians. Bulgaria, too. There we go. Um, I'd love it if we could actually try and <laughs> force things where, where the uh, Soviets would help us. <laughs> but it's not going to happen. Yeah, mounted divisions would be quite good. Hmm... Quite an interesting development there, really. Well, that said, it does open up some options. We're in June 1940, so we do have some time. Right. Place these guys down here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what's going on... Uh Focus on that as well. At night. Yeah, I don't know why the TC is so bad. It does make me wonder, is it maybe to do with, like, Norway? That's fine. And I don't claim to be a pro of this game. <laughs> I think what we'll probably do is, like, do successive attempts and just try and figure out really uh, what works and what doesn't work. Right, production control sounds pretty good, actually. Go for that. Uh, there should be, in fact. Okay. Let's see. Free France isn't that bad if you actually have... Like a navy that can project power. If you could do that, you'd be alright. I like the feather we get by Madagascar, Djibouti and all that. That is wild, though. That is very wild. That is very, very wild. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, we are working on the descent, so that makes sense. Why is that not going down? Focus on Kumsu. Uh, good, thank you. There we go. It's just the descent. Okay, well, that's good to know, then. We'll get that sorted shortly, then. Uh, let's see. 43 logistics... Hmm. Put you on that. Uh, camp group is some time away now. Uh, probably, probably. I'm going to look towards some actual uh, mountainous troops, so they're, they're going to be quite handy. Right, so we're working now on the descent, which is good. So that's going down pretty nicely. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what we've gained, though. So, our metal production is up to 0.57, uh, 50.7, but I'd imagine that's probably because we aren't, uh, trading. I do need to get more rares, in fact. 
Right. The Soviets have none to sell right now. Let's negotiate with nations that are on the border then, essentially. Okay. No any enough, really. Okay. Our air force isn't as large. Like, I've played uh, a few games and... And this is the one where I've got, like, the smallest amount of forces, really. Uh, trying to go for the interceptors and, uh, yeah... Keep things in, <laughs> in motion, really. Yeah, take China's rares. <laughs> okay. Engaging over here. Would be nice if we sunk some blows. Right, engaging over here, then. Strategic bombers? Okay. Oh, I do have a couple divisions that I should bring back. Yes, yeah, so there we are. Okay. There we go. Uh, you can stay there. Safer. Okay. Sneak move. I guess rebase then. Apparently you can't sneak move for some odd reason. Right, so. Yeah. Uh, can't seem to trade with the uh, Soviets right now. Just got to keep influencing the Hungarians, then, it seems. Issue is, if I bring you a Slavia, then they'll uh, turn against me, which is rather annoying. Hmm. Yeah, so they're conquering bad, so that's going to go to Turkey, apparently. Intriguing. Uh, that's fine. I mean, we'll see what we can do there. Okay. So we'll bring the... Uh, up. So the Spanish have refused this time. We'll keep asking them until they accept, and then we can go for Gibraltar. So I have a revolt over here then. But that's right in... Uh, yep. Yeah. So they'll manage that quite nicely. Get rid of its descent... And we'll be good to go. Uh, Hungary has abandoned neutrality. Okay. So I can bring Hungary into the war. Okay. Ah, uh, the decision's available. Ah, uh, well, I can start Barbarossa early if I wanted to. <laughs> I do have something here to actually bring Yugoslavia into the Tripartite Act. I mean, we've obviously conquered France earlier. Um, yeah. So they would want me to... Okay, we're still going to wait for that then. Uh, so what I'm going to do then is actually just place a couple cores in these areas then. Right, get uh, them out there. Yeah, the uh, army's far too small. We'll probably get our ass kicked by the Soviets, but we'll see how we go on. We've still got some time, which is nice. Oh, they've landed at Dunkirk. Okay. Uh, Bulgaria abandons neutrality, and so does Romania. So I could invite them into the Axis. Uh, that's interesting, really. I mean, it could be potentially our way in there. I mean, maybe what we do is actually we do bring them into the Axis, and then we do have forces sent over here to the Middle East, and then we try and conquer Cairo ourselves. Uh, 
I don't think it makes... I don't think it's really worthwhile. If Turkey wasn't in here, we'd have a much easier time so I can invite these nations into the Axis. But then I don't even know if I want to invite them into the Axis. Hungary's fine. But... I don't think it's worthwhile putting in Romania or, or Bulgarian. Like, yes, they do give us troops, but then again, it, it's probably better to keep them neutral. Yeah, get them all. <laughs> Issues I can't release them as puppets then, but maybe we just go for it. But we'll deal with uh, Gibraltar first. So it's quite interesting to see the uh, actual ramifications of end of the Vichy regime. Rather different than I would have imagined, actually. Okay. Deal with the rebels. Rebel scam. Yeah, TC's getting better. Okay. Yeah, Gibraltar and Suez would obviously secure the Mediterranean, to be honest. Uh, we are building the garrisons. I've just got to deal with the actual uh, descent first and foremost. Okay. Spread these divisions out. I'll keep some mechanized here then to react. Oh, they're actually trying to land six divisions here. Holy hell. Okay. Good job. We actually just noticed that. Go, uh... Go deal with that. Yeah. I'm glad we dealt with that. <laughs> That'd have been bad otherwise. Iceland Basin. Oh, I see. Yeah, we'll have Garrison shortly. We really will. Okay. Bring to Alliance. No, they're not taking it this time around. Oh, well. We'll get them in shortly. Uh, bring the Hungarians in. Shit. Lay part of their own axis? Ah, <sighs> shit. Okay. That's not exactly what I intended to happen there. Hmm. I think they joined the Free French. I'd assume they joined the Free French. I mean, maybe we do bring them in, actually. Maybe we just bring them in and then we can move through here. I like, I, I love the fact that they have the, uh, yeah, bloody hell, they're going for it. I like how they just gain divisions. <laughs> just out their asses. Oh, God's sakes. I was not exactly intended there. Nothing big. God, they really are trying for it. I'm going to move another division there. Grand Admiral. Uh, we've already got them in by decision, actually. Well, by an event, I should say. Hmm. Oh, wow. Okay, that's real brave. I'm not entirely sure. It seems like they were allied, and then because they were forced to join us by a decision, essentially, by a... Uh, but the uh, Italians got a decent amount. Ah, fuck it. We'll bring them in. Apparently, Bulgaria's like, No! Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, that is. <laughs> it's getting kind of wild now, isn't it? <laughs> it's not exactly what was intended to happen here. I just need uh, Bulgarian here. I mean, maybe this might be a good thing, because it does pro uh, give us a two-front to go with, really. Against the British there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's going to be a wild one here. Harm's okay. Can I? I should actually give them uh, technology. Hmm. Oh, right, I see. I might as well just influence them. Oh, I can't influence them. Ah, there we go. We got them in now. Good. So we have Spain now in. So we're going to make a push towards the... Uh, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Help the Spanish out. Well, the Nationalists out. Might as well go conquer Portugal then. Why are the Italians here? How do the Italians get here? So the Italians are here. How? <laughs> they were always here. <laughs> they were there before the Spanish were there. It's just the Roman legionnaires, isn't it, essentially? What's that there? Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. What do I need for that? At least 7,500 supplies. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, the real Spanish. Okay. Hey, doing that, Hugh? Good to have you, my friend. Uh, why you never end your projects on Harvard, Harvard, to Harvard Landmark? Uh, it's like everything, really. I'm pretty bad for it. <laughs> I don't know. We've we've not got that much time. I fear for how things are going to look when uh, Barbarossa has to be gone. Well, has to be done. But I, I suppose we'll see, really. I'll have the air power there available. Once we get rid of this descent, we'll be in a much better position because we'll start producing again. Hmm... It's a weird turn of event, really. No. Are they actually offering... No. Might as well just conquer them. Yeah, I'm kind of glad that we did. I mean, it's weird, but at least it's probably worthwhile. I mean, at least we are gaining, like, all of the French industry, which is nice. 
Yeah, well that's it, isn't it, really? Let's take a look. Uh... Madagascar. <laughs> I just wish it wasn't like 10 descent. It shouldn't be that much descent. It's kind of crazy. What do the Italians have in terms of resources? Do they have enough? Try some K oil. Okay. They've got enough now. Uh, let me go ahead and. Uh, this music's so, so jolly. <laughs> it's like weirdly jolly. Can't negotiate with anybody at this moment. Hmm, okay. Ah, right, now we go. agri chemistry is going to be really big. Right, so we're engaging here then. What I'm going to do then is use our air power to uh, interdiction. Just destroy their organization, essentially. Yeah, two from Barbarossa. <laughs> okay. Start working on this one over here. I'm just selecting the same one. Right, there we go. Oh, so we'll make short sure work, and then we'll get to the Gibraltar, we'll be good. I mean, this is it, uh, whether it's good or bad. I'm going to have to conquer Portugal as well. I mean, though they are fascist, uh, I don't know if they could be brought round. I mean, we'll try influencing them. See, our industry is really up there now, 570, which is really quite good. Yeah, they're no longer attacking over here, which is good. It's kind of crazy how things have just turned out now. <laughs> it's gone from light. It's like we just turned the dial up to 11. There we go. Makes me wonder, could we cross over to Africa? Uh, more divisions there, okay. I need to produce things, really. Uh, I'm not too sure. My history regarding Portugal isn't particularly fantastic, so I couldn't say really, uh, I couldn't speculate. Okay. I do need more rares. Stalin. Yeah, they've got enough to give me. Mm, I'm, I might stop pile of oil, actually. Oh, actually, not yet, so I might as well try and buy some. They have this, like, hard cut-off point <laughs> where they will not give you anything for that, no matter how much you essentially offer them. There we go. A little bit more oil coming in. I suppose this is it. We might just have to just take over as many nations as possible, really. Uh, what I'll do is actually have these guys try and pocket them here. Uh, just help this Spanish the nationalists out. 
Hmm. Okay. Assembly line experience. Sound is interesting. Uh, this, how you doing there, Epic Duck? Uh, this is Darkest Iron, but this is a modification for Darkest Iron called uh, Total Realism Project. So, uh, Darkest Iron is a modification of Heart of Iron 2, and Total Realism Project is a modification of Darkest Iron. <laughs> yeah, it seems like a uh, Heart of Iron 4 right now. How you doing there, Kaiser? Good to have you, my friend. <laughs> Good to die. Oh, dear. Okay, closing in on uh, Gibraltar. Golana Heights. <laughs> uh, gotta keep influencing them. Alright, descent's almost gone now. You can see our industry's going up really wildly now. Alright, gotta get the relations up, you say. Okay, okay. Well, that might be white then. Uh, to be honest, I really like Heart of Mine. Uh, like, uh, just Dark Star. I just think it's really good. It's just uh, it's just really competent at what it does, which is nice. I don't know. It's just I just think it does it really well. Uh, going to the casualty tab, sure. Uh, we had more than really I would have preferred, because obviously we did have the fighting in Sweden against quite a few of the uh, forces as well. Uh, taken losses, so personnel, France, yeah. Obviously because they lost quite a lot for Nationalist China, Poland. Uh, we've had 32, well actually 327,000 it says here. But... I mean, that's casualties, isn't it? It's not like deaths or something. And the UK's lost quite a bit. But we'll see. We'll see how things go. I suppose if we're going to do anything crazy, we need to do it as early as possible, really. It's just none of this was actually intended. <laughs> uh, right, let's see. Can I attack Gibraltar? Do I need to attack you? How can I get... Oh, there we go. Now I can attack Gibraltar. Right, I'm going to need the air power now. It's a garrison, so we probably will manage... Actually, yeah, it looks like we'll manage. Mm, gonna need that air power, actually. Alright, head to Sevilla. Right, cancel that attack, have you move there. Uh, the Italians seem to be uh, doing alright, to be fair, at this moment in time. Right, there we go. Start to hit that organisation. Need more rares. Mm, they're doing alright. I don't know, if we can get across into uh, here they'll be alright. Obviously they're going to be moving on Spanish territory. But it's not a victory point here anyway, so it doesn't particularly make much of a difference. Well, this is it. We joined in. <laughs> we decided to join in, essentially. Engaging over here. Hmm. Yeah, they're going to fight to the death. Uh. Well, 
What have we been off doing then is take them out, change their general to like a fortress buster, like just so happens to be there. Have a higher rank who can command nine. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, the organization is very low there. Give them that. Hmm. Go for that tech. Just need that organization to increase quickly. Which it is, in fairness. Right, I'll have them support the attack. What do we have here then? As of Vienna Dictact. Force Romanian acceptance. Deny the Hungarians. I'm going to deny the Hungarians. Yeah, well, we're using air power as well. I could bring more, but I'm lazy. Only 3% descent now, which is good. Uh, probably, but we've got the leader now that we needed. We needed some Puka man more. You can see how quickly it's going now. Looks like the uh, Spanish and the Italians are helping out with periodic bombardment, it seems. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, I was the answer to nearly everything. Yeah, it's going to fall now. It looks like we get periodic uh, bombardment aid. Yep, you can see that the Spanish and Italians are actually helping us over here. So Gibraltar will be falling in a second, which is nice. There we go, be gone in a second now. Looks like I just got a blueprint then, actually. I gave it to somebody. Yep, there we go, Gibraltar has uh, imminent... Well, it's going to be falling imminently. So that'd be interesting. If we can get across here, it'd be interesting to see if we can actually help out. That was a very silly move by the Italians there. They're going to pay for that if they don't sort that out. Okay, so down to 1.93. Okay. Oh, that's why the TC is so bad. Why are they all here? That's bizarre. That might be why the... Well, that must be why the TC was so bad then for a long time. Crazy. Ah, the British are invading Madagascar. Ah, ah. Ah, well, yeah. Uh, goodbye, Italian. <laughs> yeah, goodbye. Oh, it's actually going up now, so we'll keep influencing them. Yeah, it is actually. Yeah, having a blueprint's really good there. God, fuck. Okay. Hmm. Well, I, I didn't actually intend to ally with the Italians. Uh, <laughs> I allied the Hungarians and then the Italians. Like, we, we just ended up in an alliance with the Italians, so that was a thing. Okay, there we go. Got Gibraltar now, which is good. So I can't cross, unfortunately. Ah, <sighs> boo. Okay, what I'll do then is deploy a garrison down there. Yeah, I don't have any transports down here, but what I'll try and do is go through, uh, essentially, Turkey. Okay. 
God, there's so many things happening now. Hmm. That's what we'll do then. When the descent is gone, we'll be able to properly get onto things. I mean, we've got quite a lot of actual IC that seems to be increasing here. So we're at 6.15 now, which is quite a lot. Oh, I don't think they can invade that anyway. Yep. Uh, nope. Okay. Hmm. Oh, a Tanji. I'll take a look at it, but it's a good point. If we can go across, that'd be really awesome. It might be a case of where we might not be able to go across due to... Oh, no, I can't go across. That's a shame. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Uh, I'll redeploy the air power to somewhat safety. Oh, jeez. Yeah, if we can keep increasing the amount of uh, IC, we'll be alright then, I guess. Okay, destroyed some partisans. If I was allied with the Portuguese, then for a second. And the more nations that we can bring in, the better, really. <laughs> in a weird way, which is what I was not actually wanted to do or expecting to do. By oh Belgium, oh yes. Right there we go. Now we're good. Now we're good. Okay, so we're gonna do then, or do we go for the upgrades? I think we'll do the upgrades first then. But we'll do upgrades first. And then we'll get then we'll get into the production of why we'll never upgrade. Might as well have the upgrades now, then get into production. So we've got six twenty IC, six twenty one IC. So we'll upgrade everything and then we'll be good to go then. Man, that's bad. It's because they're probably finding mountains really. Yeah, we'll upgrade our forces quick. So we have the Tripartite Pact proposed here then. So, it says with Japan. Ah, uh, yes, you are right there. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, what's your plan for the invade of the US? I didn't even think we'd get this far, to be honest, but... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, do we even bother with this one here? So I don't think it matters. I don't really need to be in an alliance with Japan. They'll naturally progress to war with the United States anyway, so I don't want to be involved in that. In fact, it'd probably make it worse for them, so I'm going to tell them Germany stands alone. I need it. Okay, have all our forces been redeployed then? Yeah, a lot of them ended up in Berlin for some reason. Not too sure why. <laughs> we'll have garrison divisions shortly. God, it looks like the French Empire there, doesn't it, with Catalonia? <laughs> I was just thinking that looks like the French Empire. That's cool. Man, those mountains are nasty. Oh, we've got to keep uh, influencing...
I suppose the benefit is we don't have to worry about the winter in uh, Anatolia. Oh, they like that trick, don't they? Well, they're now cut off, actually. Yeah, they're cut off from supplies. Hey, Dunmeco, sir. Good to have you, my friend. Right, what I'll do then is I'll leave the Panzer Division there and have the rest uh, head over here. Well, it's declared on Greece. Okay, fair enough. They were always going to do that anyway. Yeah, things kind of things kind of spiraled. To be honest, they kind of spiraled. We've always been at war with Eurasia, and the mountain troops are actually in Norway. I could do with more, to be honest. Actually, I could probably made it. Better. Oh, the Italians have landed there. Well done. Hmm. Man, they proper tough fight around those mountains. At least the Italians are helping us out here alongside the uh, Spanish, of course. Right. Upgrades will be done shortly enough. Yeah, something, something, blood flies. <laughs> it feels like that, doesn't it? Oh, there are events mount troops. That'd be really nice. Yeah, I know. It's kind of crazy. Try and bring them in. No, they fail. Well, they refuse, sorry. Okay, looks like the Republicans will be formed shortly enough. Right, there we go. They've all upgraded. It's important that we get this done now, then. How you doing there, Bering? Good to have you, my friend. Yeah, if we get this upgrade process out of the way, then just go production, full production, really. We have a lot more industry to play with than normal, so that's good. Uh, Panzers aren't exactly fantastic in mountains. Shocking. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, the more the moving more men there, which is good. I suppose it's easier for them now that Gibraltar is obviously fallen because they can't move forces in from that side. So at least that's something there. Improved oil refining, which means we have our larger stockpile now, which is good. Obviously, produce more too. Advanced refining. Need IG Farben, really. Oh, I've never actually properly played the Grand Campaign, actually. Right, Naval Doctrine would be good. Uh, improve our submarines would be a good idea. Yeah, shockingly. Right, assembly line, that's good. Gonna get that for uh, infantry. Equipment. Uh, small arms there. We, oh, small ships. Do I get it for infantry? Uh, I don't think so. Or maybe I'm just blind. Rockets, armor. 
<laughs> that was cool. Maybe armor. But even aircraft could be a real big one, to be honest. I mean, that's really nice for supply and production. I think I'm going to go with uh, aircraft, to be honest, first and foremost. We absolutely do need more. So I'll try and produce more aircraft then as well. Okay. It just it just tries to make the game better, really. It tries to just make it a more uh, a bigger challenge. Like when you invade France, uh, they have troops that are just in the Benelux, just straight away. It, it's to try to just make it uh, a more realistic outcome, I guess. Obviously, things get crazy, of course. Ah, uh, good, an infantry vision's moving there. That's good. Uh, keep influencing the Portuguese. There we go. Bombardment would be nice here. Uh, we don't have a cruiser submarine as of yet, really. But what was that advantage just uh, unlocked? Uh, ah, tactical bomber, okay. Uh, Interceptor 1940. Right, how are we doing on upgrades? Okay. Uh, Star production then as well. There we go. Capture the... Uh, okay. A thousand night. Might as well do that. Helps the Japanese. Okay. So the garrison's going to be produced now. I'm going to get rid of these destroyers. I know they're all right. <sighs> then I get them all reproduced. It's only going to cost me 0.3, isn't it? Some other factories here. Radar stations. Okay. All right. Let's have them upgrade automatically then. Same for these guys. They're already lost like gear and bonus. Okay. I'll start producing some uh, mechanized now. Man. Is that 10.615? I'll just start producing them now, actually. But in fairness, I might go ahead and produce more garrison. I'm going to do, like, a string of garrison here to begin with. So just do, um... Just 20 here to begin with, and then we can actually just garrison everything. Get all the garrisons out there, then we'll be... We'll be fine, then. We'll be fine. I can actually hold everything safely, then. Is anyone going to help? That'd be nice. Okay, the Italians are moving out there, which is good. Oh, they've actually surrounded the uh, Free French there. Okay. Some more divisions here. God, I don't like all the Soviet stacks on the border there. Yeah, we'll get all the uh, garrisons and then we'll be alright. I can start to build proper units then. <clears throat> okay, there we go, we've got them. Uh, yes, we're still building the carriers. Still building the carriers. Actually, are we still building the carriers? Uh, yes, yes, we are. They're nearly done now. Nearly done. Still working on some upgrades at the moment. Some maneuvers. Top it up, actually. Uh, practice. Alright, there we go. Have them here. Okay. Okay, moving on there. Can Bulgaria just stop in an arse and join? The sooner we can get down here, the better. But the Italians seem to be doing well enough, actually. They're doing okay. I think probably uh, having Gibraltar helps them uh, massively. Right, it's good to have new units being produced now. 
In our industry, it's actually pretty amazing though, 625. More is going to be required. Okay. Hmm. Still need more uh, rares. Hmm. I need them to join here. Right, better attack from both locations. So that's fine. I'm going to send these guys to help out there. Yeah, it's around them. It's tough for the mountains, but we'll manage it. I lost another sub. That's not good. Yeah. Okay, looks like we've got that. And good new aircraft. That's what I need. Yeah, I love that we see the Swedish Air Force. Air Scramble. Need more radar sites, to be honest. Yeah, they come as up something. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, there we go. I don't need the planes at this moment in time, but I will have more soon. Alright, got that. So, production there. Obviously, somewhere away. Uh, let's see. Equipment. I'm going to do that for the years. Well, no, I should probably get the vehicle production. That's going to be very important. So, we'll get that vehicle production then. And then we can start to just, like, throw things out there. Small ships would be nice. Like, actually producing subs faster as well would be really nice. Okay, they're going to be gone shortly. I'll give this up to Spain then. Now. Open negotiations, provinces. Ah, I wish you could just click here, that'd be nice. Yes. Ah. Lirida. There we go. Barcelona and Genoa. Girona, sorry. Barcelona. There we go. I wish this text was bigger. Right, there we go. Maybe I should have kept that. So there was industry there, but our industry seems fine anyway. I mean, they get all the benefit from it, so I might as well let them have it, because obviously they have the cores there. They're doing, I mean, the Italians are doing quite well here at this moment in time. Yeah, rockets are quite nice. Right, 28%, keep influencing them. They're probably not too far off now. Okay. Looks like they'll be gone here. Yep, there we go. They're gone now. Let them move there, then I can have all these guys sent to go to Africa, essentially. Our good friend Carl. Okay. Uh, not coming. Uh, not communist China. I played lie. I played uh, Japanese and uh, the uh, Chin and some other ones. There you go. Now, uh, so the Republican Spain's gone now, which is good. Keep influencing them. I wish you could say it's automatic and nice. Right, ideally they actually look after their borders there.
Okay. More radar sites would be nice as well, actually. So the Condor Legion returns home. And to be honest, I should be building more infrastructure here too. Alright. Uh, you can starve you maybe, just for the resources, perhaps. And this is where things get hard to manage because everything happens so very quickly, really. I think I've got almost everything there. Yeah, we're going to need that, aren't we? How much is it? One each. That's fine. Okay. Talons are doing well, though. Let's see. Can I get more rares from uh, Soviets? No. Not right now. I should try and get more oil from them, though. Right, there we go. Oh, there's a hotkey. Oh, that'd be really cool. You can actually set hotkeys, like, you can set spacebar to be, like, a pause, which is something good. Okay, no, no, because that frees up more industry there as well, gave, uh, gives us more industry too. And we're up to 633, which is pretty nice. I mean, having the uh, control of French industry is really nice. Obviously, it'd be better once we have... There we go, it's more motorized, handy. It'd be better once we have, uh, par well, garrisons. I might as well wait until the armor's in position, then I can move through quick, I guess. But we'll see. Okay. I want the Spanish to spread out, so I, I'm going to have to deploy garrisons into their nation as well, just in case. Right, okay, so we have a good number now, so what we'll do then... Place some on every beach, just so we are not invaded. Means I can move these forces then. Okay. These are more. Yeah, you can see that's in dry control now. Germany lines with Finland. Hmm. Keeping us uh, influenced until we get the armor on the border. Let's see, can I give anything to the Italians? I 
Might as well have them on pads on duty for the time being. I could strategically redeploy, but sometimes it takes longer. At least it feels that way. Let's see, how's that improve things? Ah, a little bit better. A little bit better. Uh, vampire experience. I don't know if I've actually buggered myself by going that way. That's the interventionism. See if that helps us out. Yeah, well, we'll have more divisions on the border shortly. Ooh, what's this? Oh, Palestine's I see. Should have you rebase down there. Might as well get them out there. Okay, let's see. A Yugoslavia and the uh, Tripartite. I guess we'll do that, see how it goes. They'll probably uh, turn against us immediately. But we do have force to stand that way anyway. Yeah, there we go. There we go, our carriers have finished now, which is good. So, war with Yugoslavia. Um, I might as well, I guess. We have all the allies there as well, so we might as well. I do get a new core, too. Right, there we go. Uh, I think we just want destroyers now, don't we? I know you like want to have equal numbers of escorts or more. Right, that should be enough for the carriers then. Hmm. Uh, probably large. Why the hell are they? I love how the Italians are just everywhere. Absolutely everywhere you want them to be, though, there. That's a lot of Russians, so Jesus Christ. Ooh. Okay, that is bloody large. Jesus. Okay. I'm going to have new interceptors shortly, actually. Yeah, I might as well wait until they're ready, actually. I'm going to have them deal with that. Okay, Garrison's uh, there. Hmm. Ah, Garrison. Yes. Let's see. That might help out there. No. Uh, a little bit. Hmm. 
I'm going to do some amount of convoys and escorts, actually. Our crews are sub there. Might as well get them. Put more garrison to production, but. There we go. I mean, we have some serious industrial clout, which is nice. Why the hell are the British here? <laughs> are they just British controlled then? Is that what's going on? I'd imagine so. So you try and bring them in. Yep, there we go. There's not not much time has actually passed here. I got the towns are doing good. Intercepted 1940. Excellent news. Hmm. Yes, subs uh, soon uh, come sooner. So get that. Okay. The Iron Guard Rebellion? Hmm. Jesus. Yeah, I mean, this is it. We're going to get our asses handed to us by the uh, Russians. No doubt. Right, might as well use our air power. Oops. The hell is it, actually? Why are they still there? Alright, they're going to rebase over there. Oh, I lost another sub there, unfortunately. Okay. I'm going to sneak move the carriers over here. Ah, they are revolting. What do I get Burr's industrial tax? Uh, not too far, now. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, they made it. Okay. Well, that's good news then. Ah, uh, let's see. Hmm. Ba -da 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 -da. I mean, we could try to engage. I'll look for some British forces, actually. Well, we'll look for some fleets and then I'll try and use them. Like, maybe like that. Oh, they don't have a mission set now. Okay, deal with the partisans. Let's build uh, Bordeaux up to you. And I could actually, well, to be honest, I could bring the uh, fleet into the Mediterranean. What, what am I doing? Read that base them at Marseille. That makes sense, wouldn't it? Germany demands top of the boats. Okay. Okay. Camp group. I mean, we're not really in a position to tank the Soviets, so we'll have to see how we go, really. Why are they suffering? Okay. Just need to take the good app, it seems. Are more panzers available? Uh, I don't know. It's one of those that I don't think we could really go for Barbarossa now. Not in this sort of state. I just don't think we'd... It'd be kind of crazy. We'll see what we could manage. For Swiss trade agreement. Yeah. a lot of things. Alright, let's bring the fleet. Uh, if I could have them lie, well, not convoy. Do you want to go base them from like an Italian port, really? Hmm. See what happens if we have them on patrol. Don't really want to go out that way, though. Uh, Basin from Toronto. Nothing can go wrong there, right? Let's see. Carrier maneuvers. They have their CAGs. I can't remember if I built them. Games, uh. uh not doing something? <laughs> hmm.
Yeah, okay. Seems like the game might have crashed. So look. Ah, it just seems to be my mouse stuck there for some reason. Hmm, looks like I might have to... Uh, come on. Yeah, I quite lose... I... <laughs> Fuck. I can't move the mouse. For some reason. Uh... Well, I can't move the mouse, so I'm going to have to restart the computer, it seems, because it will not let me close the game. Uh... Mm. Well, looks like we'll have to end it here, then, because I'm going to have to probably restart the computer. And thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, spare, spare, spare some change for somebody who's apparently <laughs> lost control of his computer. <laughs> I would read off the list of patrons, but it's too long for me to remember off my heart, but I'm going to say thank you to all of you. And, uh, yeah, okay, well, this is, uh, <laughs> mouse, no! Ah, <laughs> uh, well, until next time, thank you for watching. I uh, shall try and fix this. Goodbye for now. Which, uh, which hotkey is it to end the stream? Let's see. It's not that one.